In this episode, I'm going to cover creating a servlet for my App Engine project. I'll start off by using the at web servlet annotation to create my servlet, and then I'll dynamically create an HTML page to return on the request. So to get started, I'm gonna to go to my IDE, and I've created this project in the previous episode, so look for that to get started. And what I wanna do is go to my mountain server package, and I'm gonna right click on it, I'm gonna go new, and I'm gonna create a class, and I'm gonna go, this is my home servlet. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So I'm gonna click on finish, and so now that I have the home servlet created, I got to extend HTTP servlet. So I'm going to extend HTTP servlet. And then I got to import the library. And then I'm going to go in on the Mac. It's command one. It might be control one on your, your computer, depending on your OS and key bindings. And I'm going to import the HTTP servlet. And now I want to add the annotation. And that's going to be at web servlet. And then I want to import it to start with, import that. And so I went command one to do that. And then I'm going to give it some attributes. Name is equal to my home servlet. I'll name it that. And then I'm going to give it URL patterns in this case. I'm going to say URL patterns are equal to, it could be more than one URL pattern. If you, you're going to give it one pattern, you can say value equals. In this case, I want to say multiple patterns, so control space to, and then I'm going to have an array of items here, and they're going to be strings. And then this, I'm going to give it home, so that's one way. And then let's say they, they dial in hometown in the URL. That could be another way. And or let's say it's, it's entry. Okay, so there's three ways they can type in the URL to get to the servlet, home, hometown, and entry. And if you want to do just one value, one value instead of URL pat patterns, you could go value is equal to home. Okay, so I'm not going to cover that today. In this case, I'm going to use URL patterns. Okay, so now that I've got it constructed, I want to override the do get method. And let's just look at its command click on HTTP servlet and look at the outline. Okay, so there's other methods you could override in here. Do get, do head, do post, and do put, and do delete, and so on. In this case, I'm just going to override do get. So how do I do that? So I'm going to start typing in do get, do get, and then autocomplete with enter. And that basically provides the method signature that I need to construct with. So in this case, I know I'm not going to call the super class. And what I want to do is just paste in what I'm going to do next. And this is just speed up the tutorial here. So I'm going to paste in the response. And the response, I got a match here. Let's just go response. A little bit more verbose there. And I'm going to set the context type on return to HTML with UTF-8 in mind. And then I'm going to go get writer and I'm going to print to that writer basic, uh, basic HTML page. This is super basic just to show that I could dynamically construct. I, I'm not doing any if logic here that's really dynamic, but I'm just going to construct a page and I could construct this different depending on the request and response values and or maybe database values depending on the session. OK, so let me just can save this. Well, how do I debug it? Okay, so I'm going to go to the debug perspective up to the right on the bug. I'm going to click on that. Since I've already constructed the server in the previous episode, I'm going to right click on it and go to bug. And this will start up the instance. Okay, so once that's started, it will open up an embedded browser. So then I can say, oh, there's no link for it. So I'm going to go ahead and type in home. Okay, so that's excellent. What if I type in home T? Well, that doesn't work, so let me go hometown. Okay, so that works because it's in the URL pattern, and entry works. Okay, so let's say entries. Well, that doesn't work. Okay, so that was really easy to construct a servlet with URL patterns and provide what I wanted to return on the request for that servlet. So that's awesome, easy to do in App Engine. Well, that concludes where I wanted to go in this episode on my tutorial. Thanks for watching today. Follow me for more tips and tricks on App Engine, and I'll catch you later.